finally, my friends were like, you need to go on a date. Like, we can't hear about how lonely you are anymore. It's such a bummer. <laughs> Just meet someone. So I got set up on a blind date. And um, I'm going to keep this short because I haven't gotten to enough therapy to really um, talk about this without freaking out. <laughs> um, but I went on a blind date with a man who showed up. And I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. I know that comedy benefits from hyperbole. But this fellow showed up in a full suit of armor. <laughs> Chainmail, coin purse, a tunic that apparently, he corrected me, was called a tabard. Like, it was <laughs> legitimately a nightmare. And, and my, no pun intended. And, um... <laughs> like, I don't know if it was, like, supposed to be a joke or, like, I, I, I've just, I, 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 I like... The most annoying thing you have to do as a woman is to try to fucking decipher why some asshole made some shitty decision that you're involved in. It's like, <laughs> no thanks. I'm actually not interested in why you thought this was the move. <laughs> I would rather get any operation right now and think about this. And I sat and I like had to and I sat across from him and was just like, it filled with this. I was just like, is this? my option like this is the one date I go on and it's this it's this it's this guy who like can't sit still in his seat because his chainmail's digging into the back of his thighs this is like insane so bad and like not to mention that someone came up during the meal and was like hey I really love your show Broad City And then I betrayed these beautiful women in my community by being like, yeah, I'm them, I'm either one. <laughs> That's right. I'm those women, I'm both, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm them, they're here with this fucking chode, not me. 